All right, Brooke, what game are we playing today? Duplic. Duplic. And do you like Duplic? Yes, I do. Oh, yeah? You love it. This is this is quickly jumped on your favorite games list. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and why? Because you're drawing, and I think it's really fun to draw. Do you have to be an artist to play this game? No. <laughs> Not at all, huh? <laughs> Anything but. All. And everybody still has fun? Mm-hmm. Well, cool. Well, what is Duplic all about? Duplic is about somebody describing a picture and everybody else drawing it, trying to get the most points from your drawing. Okay. Well, cool. Well, then let's do an example. So show me one of those cards. So this card, it have, they have two sides. Okay. So that would be one picture that you could describe. Okay. So how do you play it then? One person is the describer, and they'll take a pic. They'll take one of these cards and um, pick the picture on the other side, so nobody's seen the picture. Nobody like, can nobody pick it up like this. And so draw nobody it. can see the picture. Okay. Yeah. And then you'd flip the timer. And during the timer section, um, everybody would draw whatever the person's describing okay. this picture. And then at the end, you take this card, and there's a bunch of questions here. And through those questions... I don't know if we can even see it. It's the magic. I don't think this will pick it up. Anyway, so it magically <laughs> reveals ten questions that you, as you were describing, didn't even know what they were. Mm -mm. So then, when all the questions go through, you get a point for each question. Okay, well, let's see it in action then. Okay, come sit. All right. Okay. I'm ready. All right, can you flip that? Yep. So there is a mime that is drawing, or that's carrying a wine bottle with glasses on it on a platter in his left hand. He's facing the right. He has one of the little French hats. He's got a really long nose and like the little French mustache type things. Um, you can only see one of his ears. Um, he's got a banana. He's got a banana on his waist. And on his right hand, there's one of the little towel things on his wrist. Um, he only has four fingers. There's one of the towel things. There's a little bow in the back of his even. Um, his hat is black. You can see part of his hair is on the right side of his head. Um, his banana is pretty detailed, I guess. <laughs> there's a wine bottle in the center of two glasses that are not white in it. Um, there's a like, chalk works or something on top of the bottle. Uh, yeah. Oh, time's up. Whew! Okay. <laughs> nice there it drawing. Is. All right, so now that I'm done drawing and everybody else around the table, if we had more people, is done drawing what you mm -hmm. described, what do we do? Now, for judging, I will roll this dice, and that's the number question that will be worth three points so instead of bonus. just one. Okay, so if I get something right, I get a point, mm -hmm. and then on that number, I get three points. Yep. Okay. So, I will take this and read through our questions. Number one. The waiter is carrying a tray with two wine glasses and a bottle on it. <laughs> two wine glasses and a bottle. Sweet. I got a point. point. Oh, that was worth three points. Oh, because that was the bonus question. That was question. the bonus. Sweet. I got three points right off the bat. Nice. <laughs> the waiter's eyes do not have pupils. Nope. Here we go. All right. I'll zoom in on the drawing while you read. Okay. You get a point for that. The wine bottle is located between the glasses on the tray. Um, there are at least five stripes on the waiter's shirt. One, two, yes. Score! Doing <laughs> good. Good job describing the stripes. The waiter is wearing a hat. Um, the waiter has a mustache. There is a banana on the ground to the left of the waiter's feet. Oh, perfect. Oh, <laughs> I got <one>. two bananas. <laughs> <laughs> one, two. Um... The towel is draped over one of the waiter's arms. I did a good job describing that. Yeah. <laughs> the waiter's nose is longer than his fingers. No. Oh. No fingers. <laughs> um, the waiter is wearing an apron that ties to form a bow in the back. <gasps> yes. You got 11 out of 12. Ooh, wow. Score, and, and so then how do you get points as the this, person describing? As the person describing, on the back of this cute little thing, there is a scoring sheet. Okay. And any question that, like, any person that draws, if they get it right, then I get one point. Okay, so, so if you're playing with four, four people are drawing, as long as one person got it right, then the person describing is going to get a point. Yes. Do you so, get bonus points? Nope, I don't. 
Okay. Ooh, let me Out see. Out of that, this. I got nine points. Because of what I, because I got one wrong. Mm -hmm. right, so nine points for you and eleven for me. Yep. Sweet. And, and then, then you reveal the real drawing, and that's what it looked like. I would get. Oops. I'd get. He does have a long nose, huh? Yeah. Cool. All right. So then your turn's up, and what goes next? And then the next person describes a picture, <laughs> and then just goes on from there until everybody's going. described. Nice. So what do you like most about Duplic? That all of the drawings end up so different, and it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, everybody's laughing all the time at what they're drawing. That's awesome. So what would you rate Duplic? I would rate it a 4.5. Awesome. All right. Thanks, Brooke. <laughs> yep.